Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Talk series. My name is Azharuddin and I represent as a product specialist for Upper Karnataka. Today, in this video, we are going to learn about a wonderful feature about a camera that's called depth effect. So in the depth effect, we are going to learn how the depth effect works and small introduction about what the depth effect is and exactly we are going to learn about how to take a beautiful video and a depth effect pictures from a smartphones as well. So let's start with the first one. So what is depth effect? In a simple way, if I wanted to talk about depth effect, so depth effect is a term we used to call it as bokeh as well. In description of depth effect, if we talk about it can be described as nearest or farthest object acceptably in an image for that object we acceptably make a sharp focus on a particular object image can be taken or might probably video can be captured from a camera is known as depth effect so depth effect have been classified into two different variants so one we used to call it as shallow depth effect and second we used to call it as deep depth effect so it varies as per the focus we used to set for the depth effect. So let's talk about how the depth effect works now. So the depth effect actually works with two different components of camera. One is aperture and second is a focal length. For the both we used to use one measure, uh, measuring unit that is called f-stop. So when we talk about the shallow depth effect, it captures actually a closest video or image uh, which need to be focused particular on, uh, particularly on a single object. And when we talk about a uh, forest depth effect or might probably a deep depth effect means if you wanted to capture the uh, not a single object or might probably sharp focus on a single object it used to capture the complete field of uh, complete field of view or a complete frame into a sharp focus. Second, let's talk about how the depth effect works now. Two major components of the camera actually used for this feature and we used to measure it by two different things one is uh, on the basis of aperture and second on the basis of focal length and when we talk about how this can be measured or might probably while taking a video how this can be calculated so it is calculated on the basis of f stops so when we talk about the f stops the sharp focus will be on the closest object and when you increase the number of f stop for example if you decrease the number of f-stop from 0.1 to 0.8 so you can actually focus on the closest object on the same manner if you are using a camera and if you are uh, using a smartphone on that time if you increase the f-stop so you can actually focus on not only on one object you can multiple object which is actually mentioned in complete frame now let's explain how actually this works the first step to is to open the camera and go to the video and especially in the oppo smartphones when you are taking a video or a picture in the depth of field or a bokeh video and especially on the time for the bokeh uh, in all the smartphone it is common that if you wanted to take one particular picture in the depth of field it is up, uh, we used to call it as portrait mode and especially in the video also we used to call it as bokeh so bokeh or portrait is actually nowadays commonly called it as for depth of field so if you wanted to change the depth of field with the help of oppo smartphones now you can easily change the depth of fields right now so just go to the camera uh, click on the camera icon and obviously click on the portrait mode icon and you will find a small icon of uh, the bokeh over there just click on that and you can change the different depth stop as you're seeing in the screen this is the shallow focus right now and if you wanted to change the focus just see on the screen how if i increase the uh, f stops so obviously it is not only focusing on me it is focusing on the background as well and now let me show you some of the beautiful pictures which have been taken from an oppo smartphone when we talk about the depth of field Guys, this is all about the learning of the day, especially about depth effect. I hope this video was actually useful for you guys and whatever we have been shared with you, learn these things and obviously share with others. And obviously I can say that thank you. Thank you for watching this video. So kindly subscribe our channel and obviously stay, stay tuned with tech talk videos so that we can upload some useful and beautiful videos, not only today, further as well. So kindly stay tuned. Thank you. Thank you for your patience.